Say hi, Bobs. Say hi, Bobs. to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I wear my mom cozy little baby wrap carrier and my review of this product. So I'd like to thank Mom Cozy for sponsoring today's video. They sent me this amazing little baby carrier and honestly, this is the first carrier that I've been able to wear Jack facing me. The other carrier that I bought when I was pregnant with Aubrey, or maybe we got it as a gift, I never mastered wearing the newborns, like facing me. I've always had to have them facing out. And it might just be because I have bigger babies, but this is the first carrier that I can actually still, at his size, wear him facing me just for that extra little snuggle time with my little baby. So that is one of the you know, initial benefits that I've kind of grasped from this product. So this product comes in two different pieces. You have the piece that you have kind of going over your shoulders and has little links in the back. And then there is a wrap that goes across after you kind of initially get your baby in the little carrier so that there's a little bit of extra protection as well as a nice little pocket. Now, when I'm wearing him facing forward, it is a little bit harder because his legs stick out, but there is a pocket here if I'm going on a walk and just need to tuck my keys or my phone in, it's the perfect little thing for that. One of the things that I really like about this product is that the weight is really distributed, so it doesn't really feel super heavy right on my shoulders like kind of a backpack strap would be. These you know, fabric straps that kind of go over my arm really distribute the weight and Lord knows he is a tank, so having that weight distributed is really helpful for my back and my shoulders. So in the instructions, when you buy this product, they suggest a certain weight limit for newborns, and that is when you should always have your babies facing towards you. And then after a certain weight, you can have them facing out or still have them face towards you. It's just kind of yours and your baby's preference. Now, I'm gonna be honest, uh, the first couple times I tried to you know, put this on, I kind of was like, am I doing this right? And I think that's probably a fear for a lot of people who get a baby wrap carrier. So pretty much, you know, if your baby's comfortable and you follow the instructions of putting, you know, the fabric over one leg and having the leg over the other piece, and I'll show you in a second, if you follow the instructions and your baby is happy, you're good. I wouldn't stress too much about it. You know, like, oh, do should I pull the fabric an inch further or whatever? I think what I've learned is just happy baby and following the instructions to the best of your ability, you should be fine. So essentially you pretty much pull the fabric strands that come with the piece that goes on your back with the hooks. You pull them over your shoulders and then you crisscross them and put the entire strand of fabric through both rings, loop it over one ring and pull it back underneath the other and pull tight. You wanna pull tight after you get your baby in, so you can kind of you know, make it a little bit loose at first, pull it a little bit snug so it's not super loose, depending on how big you are. I'm pretty big, so I kind of need as much fabric as possible. And uh, then you, know, you can tighten it once your baby is kind of tucked in the way he or she should be. Then pretty much you wanna make sure that the piece of fabric on one sh of your shoulders crosses over your baby's leg on that side and make sure the baby's leg on that side goes over the other shoulder's piece of fabric. And then you want to do the same thing for the other side. So my right shoulder, this fabric goes, went over his right leg. I had to tuck in his right leg, but his right leg is sitting on top of the fabric that goes over my left shoulder. And his left leg, again, had to go underneath the fabric from my left shoulder and his left leg is sitting on top of the fabric coming from my right shoulder. So there is this crisscross, it goes under their butt. You can always kind of spread out the fabric a little bit more if you feel like you know, you're know, you not getting enough coverage. <laughs> but once you get that crisscross done, then you wanna pull these guys tight so that it's nice and snug, the baby is safe to you, and then you can put this outer wrap on. 
Now again, Jack is pretty big, so I kind of let his arms hang out here in the pictures, in the instructions. It's like fabric all over a baby. And that was kind of part of me that was like freaking out. I'm like, I can't get my baby to fit and look exactly like this picture, but he's happy, he's safe, he's secure we're good to go. But for legal purposes, you know, this is my experience and what I'm doing for me. Please try to follow all safety precautions uh, noted in the little instructions. And the same process goes for when your baby is facing towards you. Um, obviously the right leg won't match up with the right shoulder for me, but it would be the fabric going over my right shoulder will now go over his left leg and his left leg will go over the other side of fabric and so on. So essentially getting your babies snug and secure in this little wrap is the same process. You wanna make sure their leg is under one piece of fabric and over another so that there's a good crisscross in their diaper area so that they are nice and secure and supported. They do have a variety of colors that you can choose from. If you guys wanna get one of these awesome carriers yourself or for a loved one who is pregnant or expecting a child, go ahead and check out my description box. I will put the link below for your convenience. Again, I'd like to thank Mom Cozy for sponsoring today's video and sending us this wrap. I'm really excited that I can bond with Jack and have him facing me as we walk around and do different activities because it is definitely difficult to get stuff done around here, especially when he feels the need to be held and can't just be on the floor and play with Aubrey that way. If you guys found this video helpful, I'd like to invite you to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I would love to have you stick around and check out all of my motherhood content and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye. on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.